Okay, uh, I got my brackets back on, and just so you know, the, the brackets go on the back um, of it, and they surround it, and you can see how it sticks out here, and the brackets, they stay left and right on the sides in case you get uh, befundled, and um, then this is the bottom, the ones that stick out here are the bottom, and that also is where that ribbon cable connects. So I just take my ribbon cable now, and um, line it up in there. After I've got it lined up right, underneath on both sides, I just pull it in there. That is in there real nice and snug. And now um, I'm basically done. I'm just going to reverse the process to put it back together. So I'm bringing my screen back, the back of my screen back over here. I'm going to flip this over and set it back on its mount. There we go. Um, the grounding screw is going to go back on there. I have to get this um, plugged back in. Okay, and then I've got my um, grounding screw here. It goes back in. And I'm just basically reversing exactly what we just did. Um, to take it out, got my four screws that mounted in here that I'm putting back in. Hoping this video comes out good enough. Okay, I've got my four screws back in there, and then I'm going to put my bezel back on the top. And this speaker came out of spot. If you didn't know, their speakers are right in here. I need to make sure before I put that back together, I get my speakers back where they belong. And then I should be able to set this right back in there. And snap it back into place and then replace the next four screws that held that on. A lot of uh, LCDs you just have to take off the the faceplate and there's a couple spot screws and it. it goes on a lot easier. I just did one 20 minutes ago that was far easier than this one was. There's little snaps that go on here that hold these in place by the way that you want to make sure you get back on. They're really hard to get on um, after the things all put back together although you can. What? covers the wires and brings it back in there. And then I go around and make sure I've got it snapped in there real good. You can see where I lost at least one snap. In fact, there it is. So I've got that all done. I'm going to check the tightness now after I get everything in place. Okay, then we're going to go back to the main part of the netbook to get this lined back up and back on. And I'm going to go ahead and um, I know I'm off camera a little bit. I'm trying to feed these wires back underneath there where they came from. And then we do the exact opposite thing that we did before. We're going to slide it back down in our spot here to get it lined back up. There we have it, and then I have to put those two retaining screws back on there, and I'll be honest, this makes it a little easier once I get it on there to just go ahead and close it up, because I can do it now here flat on here much easier than it was before. I can make sure those things are all in place. I have to go and um, 
get my antenna sorry this is the speaker back where it was and plugged in again That's there. there we go. Throw it underneath there. And I get my monitor plugged back into my motherboard and just pop my antenna, antenna back on here. If I forget to do this, I will get very poor reception without my antennas connected. I'm just going to put a little bit of pressure on there to snap them right back over the I'm having a heck of a time getting this one on. I can't seem to get it lined up right. There we go. Okay, and again, once I get those on and make sure they're on there real good, I'm going to get it back in. It will stay there and run it back around. Hard drive here so that when I close this up, I'm not pinching that wire again. screws on this one, the other ones will come through the back of the case. Okay, and now we're ready to put the back back on. As I do this, I just need to make sure I don't pinch any of my wires while I'm doing that. It lines up. As it slides, there's little slots right here. It slides right down through. And as long as I don't have anything pinched, I should be able to get this put back in place. And I do have something pinched. Sure, what that is around there, it's right around there. Okay, there we go, and then we've got our four screws that go in that were our longer ones that go in here. Okay, and then we've got our three screws in here that we've got to get back in. We've got our keyboard to replace. It's fairly easy. We have to replace these actually on a fairly recurring basis with students that just put that in there and then I push down the bar and then this just slides underneath there and snaps right into place. And then we've got <coughs> our two keyboard screws here left. And I drop one of those in there upside down. That's not going to help me at all, is it? There we go. And then my other keyboard screw, and we'll see if our 
our monitor powers up, and our PC powers up, and our monitor works good. And we put our battery back on, make sure it's locked, and we will see if we have a nice, no broken screen over here, and our Dell laptop is fixed.